Military experts say that in 10 years, the armed forces will be at 30 to 50% robotic. Already in the next decade, missiles will be flying too fast for humans to make important defensive actions on their own, drones will attack in self-guided swarms, and soldiers will control columns of robots. A lot of this is becoming a reality right now. So see the top 5 most advanced military robots and robotic systems of the present and future. Like it, subscribe to the channel, and let's go! Coming in at 5th place, China's Jari USV, a 20-ton impact robot vehicle designed for anti-submarine warfare, striking ground targets and engaging air targets. Tests of the robots began last year. It is 15 meters long and has a displacement of 20 tons. The Jari USV is capable of speeds of up to 42 knots and has a cruising range of 1,000 kilometers. The Jari USV is equipped with an electro-optical sensor on top of the superstructure, phased smart antenna, and sonar. Depending on the combat mission, the boat can be armed with an 8-cell vertical launcher, torpedo launcher, missile launcher, and a remotely controlled combat module with a 30mm automatic gun. The robot can operate in fully autonomous mode or be controlled remotely from the command ship. Here in fourth place is Ghost Robotics K9 Dog Robot. The U.S. Army began introducing robots. Ghost Robotics Vision 60, nicknamed K9, is already patrolling military bases in Florida to enhance security and surveillance. The 325th Security Forces Squadron is in charge of base security, and they said that the robots are weatherproof, four-legged, unmanned patrol drones with two-way communications and high-tech sensors that cost about $100,000. By February of 2021, four robo-dogs will be deployed around the base perimeter where they can either move autonomously or be controlled by an operator through a virtual reality headset. The robots are designed for stability on any terrain and have reduced mechanical complexity, reducing costs but increasing reliability and maneuverability. Operating time on one charge is seven hours, and although the robot dogs don't bite, a safety mechanism will be triggered if you try to damage them, and that mechanism is not yet known as they have not disclosed it. The canines will be an extra set of eyes and ears when processing large amounts of data and strategic points throughout the Air Force Base. Number 3. An entire family of armed robot tanks is also planned to be adopted by the U.S. Army. The project is called Mission Enabler, Technologies Demonstrator, and provides for the creation of combat robots in three classes at once, in light, medium, and heavy. They're capable of shooting, interfering with enemy communications, putting smoke screens in front of soldiers moving forward, and performing other dangerous combat tasks. The smallest vehicle, the Robotic Combat Vehicle Light, or RCVL, will be a wheeled vehicle weighing less than 10 tons and armed with light but powerful weapons such as the Javelin Anti-Tank Missile Launcher. The RCV Medium, with nearly the same dimensions, will be twice as heavy to accommodate heavier weapons, armor, and tracked gear. The robot will be equipped with a medium cannon, probably the 30 to 40 millimeter range, or several anti-tank guided missiles. And last in this group is the Robotic Combat Vehicle Heavy, weighing up to 30 tons and will be the main battle tank without a crew. It will be armed with large-caliber direct-fire guns capable of destroying tanks such as the Chinese Type 99 and the Russian T-14 Armada. For now, the robots will be controlled remotely by an operator without the use of radar to reduce the machine's visibility. But in the future, control will be transferred to artificial intelligence, and work in this direction is actively being carried out by the U.S. today. Here in second place, robot tanks are acting on the principle of the Wolfpack with German company Rheinmetall, which released an animation the other day demonstrating how they operate. The swarm of robotic tanks moves and identifies targets using artificial intelligence, while the decision to fire is made by an operator. The Rhein-Mattel Swarm consists of a squad of armed reconnaissance vehicles and a camera system with a remote-controlled machine gun, which are inserted to the combat area by helicopter. The robots can also carry multiple launchers to launch exploding kamikaze drones. To back up the animation, Rhein-Mattel unveiled a new reconnaissance combat module for its Mission Master robot platform. 
The module's payload is mounted on a 3.5 meter long extendable mast with tilt mechanism that allows the vehicle to use the system on the move or from flaps. The stuffing consists of two digital radars, a 360 degree camera, a laser range finder, a designator and a field ranger light combat system. The Mission Master weighs 1100 kilograms including its batteries and carries up to 600 kilograms of payload. The platform is an amphibious vehicle capable of swimming at 5 kilometers per hour. The robot can operate for 8 hours or travel for 140 to 160 kilometers at 20 kilometers per hour with fully charged batteries. However, in recent operational tests, the vehicle lasted more than 24 hours without recharging because most of the time the power consumption rarely reaches peak levels. Friends, while we're here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really motivates us to make even more interesting releases. And here we are in first place with the Tempest Future Fighter. The Tempest Future Fighter is a next generation air combat system that should be ready by 2035. It's being developed by the UK Ministry of Defense in conjunction with a host of technology companies and institutes. The sixth generation fighter will incorporate several new technologies, including invisibility, direct energy weapons, and hypersonic weapons. Tempest, with elements of artificial intelligence, will be able to fly autonomously and use drone swarm technology to control them. Another tech being developed in Tempest is the ability to interact on the battlefield, exchanging sensor data and messages to coordinate an attack or defend with other robots. Tempest will have an adaptive cycle engine and a virtual cockpit displayed on the pilot operator headset. A generator has also been developed for the aircraft, providing unprecedented levels of electricity. A key feature of the drone will be the radar technology with data processing capacity equivalent to downloading 9 hours of HD video per second or all the internet traffic of a major city. Today, the military is deciding whether the weapons of the future should attack independently or whether the control should still belong to humans. For the military, this is not a question of ethics, but speed of response and thus survival in future wars. Who do you think should be left with the decision to destroy targets? Let us know down in the comments. Subscribe to the Pro Robots channel and be notified of any new releases.